Welcome to Learn How to Paint in Acrylics. My name is Michael Pickett and I'll be your instructor. Well today's lesson is going to be a chocolate lab and her name is Lilu. I will see you at my studio, and I'll show you how it's done. Go get him! Because it takes a long time to do a painting, this lesson was put in fast motion and narrated. We're finishing up the drawing and we're darkening the outline so that when we put the wash over it, it doesn't wash the pencil completely off the canvas. There we go. Now we'll take our burnt sienna and plenty of water and we're going to create a wash and go over the entire painting. A men's cotton sock that's pretty absorbent and really good for painting. There we go. We've wiped the paint to the point where we can see the drawing. Now we're going to start out with the eyes first. We're going to get our black. Basically we're outlining the eye. We're going to put in the pupil, and now we're going to do the other one. Now the pupil on the other side is only a half circle, because it's at an angle. Now we're going to get some burnt sienna, and we're going to put in where the iris is. And we're going to blend it all in. And we're going to add a little bit of white and a touch of red with some burnt sienna in it. We're going to brighten up that iris. We're going to do some blending. And we're going to brighten it up a little bit. Now 
we will add some more white, brighten up the iris to the bottom of the eye. We're taking some burnt sienna and black. We're going to frame around her eyes. We're going to use our zero brush, black, burnt sienna, and white. And we're looking at our photograph at the same time so that we can see where we're putting our darks and our lights. Li Lu has a kind of a light frame around her eye. We'll just bring that out. And we'll blend it in. When you're doing portraits or animal portraits, you definitely don't want any sharp lines. You want to do a lot of blending. We're going to take a little bit of white and we're going to lighten it up towards the top of the eye. And to the bottom of the eye. And we'll do a little bit of touch-ups here and there. Now we'll put the reflected light just above her pupil, we'll use our blue with a little bit of white, creating more of a, a sky blue as her eye is reflecting some of the sky. We'll blend it in and we'll set it right in. There we go. Now we'll work on the nose. You start out with your black and you, you always want to outline it. Now we get some burnt sienna and white. And we will start filling in on the inside of the nose, in the front, and we'll blend the black in with it as we go. Now we'll take a little more white with some burnt sienna and we'll put over the top of the nose. And we'll keep blending. We'll add some more black in the nostrils and we'll blend it in. Then we'll do some highlights to the front where the light is reflecting off the nose.
Okay, we're going to add some more shadows. Well, we'll take a little bit of black and we'll outline the top part of her mouth. And now we will take the bird sienna and black, fill in just above the mouth. And we'll take white and burnt sienna and we'll put in our reflected light and we'll blend it in. Okay, there we go. Now we got both eyes done and then we have the nose done. Now we'll just fill in the rest of her face. We'll switch to our number two brush. Get some white burnt sienna and black. First start out with the burnt sienna. And then we'll just fill it in. Blend it in around the nose and up around the eye. You see how all that comes together? We'll add some to the ear. And we'll take our black and we'll outline the ear. And we'll put some shadows on the ear itself. Now we'll work under her mouth onto her chest. We'll use some black and burnt sienna mix. Now we'll get some more burnt sienna and we'll blend all that in. Now we'll fill in to the back of her body. Bringing it all together. Okay, we will start shadowing the side of her nose using black and burnt sienna. We'll add the lines in to where her whiskers are. We will work on to the top of the head. Now on your photograph, you'll see where all the shadows are and all the light areas are. You just go ahead and put that into your painting. Burnt sienna from the top of her nose down to the side. Now we'll go up to her forehead and we'll fill that in a little bit. We'll go ahead and shadow some more. We'll go back to your zero brush. 
adding shadows into her nose and to her mouth. and shadowing around her lips now we're going to add some brown and white around her lips with a little bit of highlight Well, we'll go back to our number two brush and we'll add some more white into burnt sienna and we'll add some highlights and we'll bring out her fur. Highlight on the edge of her ear and then around where her lips are and to where her whisker marks are and some more light around from the top to the side of her nose with your zero brush we're going to do some highlighting To create her nose to look wet, we'll add some more white. And we'll detail some of the areas around her nose. Now we'll just switch to our number two brush and we'll go to the top of the head to blend in a lot of those areas. Yeah, we don't want any sharp lines. We want it like soft and cuddly. Now we'll take our number 10 brush with some blue and white and uh, we'll just kind of make our background. The areas that we couldn't get close enough to her face, we'll switch to our zero brush and we'll take some of the paint from the background and we'll just fill in closer to her face. Now we get that all set in there. Okay, there we go. Okay, we're going to get our fan brush. Now we're going to fluff up her fur some. Okay, 
we're going to fill in, make it look like hair. Switch to your zero brush. Now we're going to do some fine hair detail on the edge of the fur. Even though that you can't see a lot of the fur that's on the flat surface, what gives the optical illusion that it's fur is what you do to the edges between the background and the body. Continue with the fine lines going into the background from her head. Under, under her chin and alongside of her face. We'll shadow in and around her nose. We'll switch to our number two brush and we'll do some blending and adding more highlights. And we'll go back to the fan brush.
Now we'll take some blue and white, soften the bottom of her body, and blend her portrait into the canvas. Give it kind of a, a soft look. But you want to add some burnt sienna with your white. You go over the body to make it translucent. There we go. Now we will just sign the painting. Now once the painting is signed, we will paint the edges of the painting black to give it a finished look. Now this is only optional. If you're going to hang it on the wall without a frame, it just looks much better, the edges painted black. Or you can paint them brown, whatever color that you want to paint them. There we go. There's Lee Lee.